I'm going to start by using this high resolution image to explain the coordinate modes for Mango. Presently, we're in the image coordinate mode that's indicated by this icon. This icon, if you click it, it toggles to world coordinate mode. Coordinate locations will be displayed here and additional information below. So let's go back to image coordinate mode and see what we get. As we move the cursor around through various images, we see that the X, Y, and Z change. These are actually row, column, and slice locations within this image. As we switch to the world coordinate mode, we see that the coordinates now for X are negative to the left of the origin and right of the origin are positive, likewise above and below. And, and here in posterior, the origin can be located by pressing the O key. And this is the current origin for this, this image. Uh, I can make the image line up with this origin in Tailorx space. I'd previously done this and, and loaded the transform. So we'll choose this transform. And now we see that the origin, uh, when you click, it goes to the anterior commissure. If you click C, it goes to the center of the array space and O back to origin. Another advantage of working in this coordinate system, and in particular, this has been a brain transformed to the Taylor X space, is that we can select an atlas for labels. In this case, we'll use the Taylor X daemon. And as I move the cursor pointer around, you can see the labels showing up in the information window. So let me open this uh, another image that's also been adjusted to Taylor X space. This is a low resolution MR image. Uh, the image on the left has 0.8 millimeter spacing. The image on the right uh, is different individual and is adjusted to two millimeter spacings so that it would be easier to overlay functional MRI and PET data onto. So just like the image on the left, we see as I point around, we get the uh, Taylor X labels from the various structures, and we can move the cursor between the slice locations as well. So the nice thing about the uh, world coordinate mode is that if I link navigation, I can now click in one image, and it moves the cursor to the same world coordinate in the other image. Very good feature for comparing locations and images of different spatial resolution that have both been aligned to the same brain image space, in this case, Taylor X. There's another nice feature you working in this space. If we come down here, these are some uh, functional MRI results. I'm going to load this finger tapping result as an overlay. Uh, it actually came from the study of the image on the right, but we're able to overlay it onto a different person's high resolution image. And I'm going to adjust the display a bit so that these things look a little more reasonable. And move a little higher up. So now we can see in the higher resolution image an overlay from a different person uh, placed at in front that with data that was acquired at worse than two millimeter resolution, probably two and a half to three now being displayed on a 0.8 millimeter high resolution image. So nice feature of working in coordinate mode. Let me, I'm going to remove this overlay and show you one more feature that's fairly helpful in working in coordinate mode. So I'm going to load a region of interest from the anatomical study. That's mostly white matter. We'll select it and do cut. And now we can paste this onto the lower resolution image. Notice that the fine detail seen in the high resolution image is sacrificed a bit as we go to the low resolution image. Let me remove these regions. In a similar fashion, we can create a region of interest over here. We might do this with a shrink wrap to something like 30% of the maximum, just a good outline picture, we can copy from that region, again, now low resolution to high resolution.
So interestingly, these are different varieties, both uh, registered to the Taylor Act standard, and they overlap reasonably well. If I had not picked the uh, world coordinate system, uh, this overlay would not have worked well. For instance, let's paste it in again. So if I paste it in and it's in a different mode, it aligns now back to the image phase. So let's repeat that and put it world coordinate thing. So we see uh, that the features of image coordinates and world coordinate uh, are really add, add quite a bit to the capabilities for working with overlays and regions of interest and in linking together various images.